game one uh, between these two in-state rivals, Tampa Bay has had the better of the Panthers uh, head-to-head, including beating the Lightning last year, or I'm sorry, rather uh, Tampa Bay beating uh, Florida last year in six games on their way to their second Stanley Cup. So uh, the Panthers have something to prove, something to play for, even though they're the President's President's Trophy winner this year. Uh, they certainly still have something to prove to the Tampa Bay Lightning. We'll see if they go ahead and do that. Line on the game tonight, Panthers minus $1.60, a heavy favorite uh, at home against Tampa, 6.5 over minus 30. We've seen a great deal of wagers come in uh, so far on the, on the, uh, on the Panthers, uh, which is, I mean, I'm, I'm not surprised on that. I thought we would get some, a little bit of plus money, m- plus money, money coming in. Uh, we certainly haven't ha- seen that yet. This has pushed this number up from the opening number of $1.50. Now it's all the way up to $1.60. So the public really is backing Florida in this situation. The total is also receiving equal action uh, at bet US, but I did see some sevens out there. So if you do like the over in this, I would get to it as quickly as possible because sevens are a possible or are, are possible. We see six and a half over minus a dollar thirty. That's not going to go up too much further before they just decide to put a seven uh, so they can get some buyback money on that total. Uh, Vasilevsky will get the start tonight for Tampa Bay. Of course, Bob Brosky will get the start for Florida. And this number isn't surprising considering how good that the Panthers are at home. They won, they've won won 30, they're 34 and 11, or they've won 34 other 41 home games this season, two or three against the Washington Capitals. So they're absolutely fantastic in, at, at sunrise. Uh, the first round, we saw the Panthers struggle some against the Washington Capitals, but you know, really, I mean, there was a t- point there where Washington was an empty netter away, uh, inches away from taking a 3-1 lead on the series. But instead, instead of doing that, and that's why this game is a game of inches, instead of doing that, the Panthers tied it up late with uh, uh, as they pulled their goaltender, and then they won it in overtime. And that, even that series up at two, and that was a real momentum shift uh, in that series, and I think propelled Florida into uh, this second round. Yeah, it was apparent to me uh, early on in that series that Florida was uh, holding their sticks a little bit tight. I I think one of the problems that you have when you win a President's Trophy, which is the team who has the top record, the top points in the NHL every year, I think you go into that first round and you're kind of squeezing your sticks a little bit. You're a little bit nervous because now you have something to prove. And really for Florida, they haven't had anything to prove in a long time. Well, now they... Uh, are in the postseason, and I think they struggled some uh, against the the Washington Capitals. But as we saw, early in that series was a lot different than late in that series. Florida, early in that series, had difficulties putting the puck past some pretty average capital goaltending. But as the series went on, we saw that they averaged four four goals a game over the last three, which is right on Uh, their league average for the year. No team was better in the NHL this year at creating high danger chances. I thought the Capitals played as well as expected, but uh, honestly, after Tom Wilson went out of this series, uh, there was no hope for Washington at that point, which tells you how much Tom Wilson and and many different aspects, you love him or hate him, he means a lot to that Capitals team. I do think the Panthers have to find a way, especially as the series continues, they're going to have to find a way to play better defensively. We talked about this uh, probably since the, the middle of the season about how teams like Toronto, which we've already seen happen, teams like Florida, maybe even Colorado to an extent, although they can play any type of style of hockey that you want to throw at them. I think these teams really have to find a way to be, play better defensively, which uh, on my radio show this week, we talked about how if Joel Quinville was still the coach of the Florida Panthers, would the Panthers be better prepared? Well, uh, they just they did get through Washington, and uh, the reason that discussion even came up was because of how they appeared to struggle with the Capitals team that they really shouldn't have, have had any problems with. So uh, we'll, we'll see as things go on, but I really expect this to be an up-and-down affair. Uh, Tampa Bay, another team willing to play any style that you want to play, whether you want to be physical or you want to you know, go up and down the ice for 200 feet with very little hitting. Uh, they will play any style that you want. So I suspect this game will be wide open tonight. 
I think Florida is looking to take a big monkey off their back. This is a team that has not won a playoff series uh, in 26 years. I do think that the Panthers have to find a way, again, to play better defensively. Metrics will tell you that this is going to be a high-octane series. Now, I think it's going to start off that way, but I do not think that it's going to end that way. I think the team that wins this series is going to have to play better defensively, and they're going to have to win the battle of the special teams, which really, to me, whether it's at this round or the next round or the Stanley Cup final, the winner of the Cup is going to be the best team at special teams. They're going to be the best team at staying out of the box, and they're also going to be the best defensive team along with, and that includes having a great goaltender. So let's take a look at tonight's official selection. So I got two picks on this on this game tonight. Florida is an insane 46 and eight at home, two two and one in the postseason, and 11 and two against teams with a win percentage over 600, which Tampa Bay has. Tampa Bay is just 1-4 and four following a win in their last five, which is why we saw uh, Andre Vasilevsky get tested so much in the postseason because uh, they were on the verge a couple times of getting knocked out of the first round, and Vasilevsky, as he usually does, came back and had a terrific effort and, of course, won Game 7 for them as well. This one it goes the way of the Panthers in regulation. Uh, I think this also is going to go over the total for my second selection on this as well. So we're not going to lay that big number with the Panthers to win this game, even though I think they're going to win. I want the Panthers side. So instead of laying that big number, we're going to take them in regulation where we just have to get even money. And of course, I think the pace of the play in this is just going to be up and down the ice. Six and a half over minus 30 should not be a problem to get a winner from tonight. 